Yeah, I've done it, man. Against probably the worst match ever. I've I've done it. Let's just do that. <laughs> man, what a wow, that was insane. Yo, what's up guys, Caduceus you something here back with another Pokemon Expanded deck video today. We're taking a look at another new card from Fusion Strike. We got Chandelier Free Max, which uh, for, you know, for two energy, it does 70 times the amount of trainer cards in your opponent's hand. So it's pretty similar to the previous Gengar Mimikyu um, from Team Up, but it, it did 50 damage times. And this does, this does a lot more. This does a lot more, so it's a lot easier to... You know, one hit, one hit at tag teams, one hit V maxes, all those guys. But before we get into the video, yeah, if you guys are ever looking to buy some Pokemon codes, make sure you guys head to buy ptcgocodes.com. Use my code Keldio for five percent off your purchase to your, yourself any pack, including Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, any pack they got them. Link will be down in the description below. So yeah, we just got a four three line. Um, aside from this attack, man, this guy actually has an interesting ability. Curse Shimmer, which, when it's in the active spot, your opponent can't play any Pokemon tool cards from their hand. So, I mean, this is, this is, you know, this, this can be more, um, it, it is, this is pretty good, man. I mean, like, I kind of, I, I didn't really think about it in this video, but like, you know, that's just like another thing they can't, you know, when you're, when you're playing the stack, your opponent is, is going to like try to thin like trainers from their hand and stuff like that, but. They can't do any tools, so like they can't play tools, so they're kind of stuck in their hand. And uh, like I didn't think about this at all in the video, so there's probably a lot of situations where my opponent couldn't like float at all, which um, yeah, is pretty cool, man. Uh, they can't float, they can't put any annoying stuff like uh, like Focus Ash or something annoying like that, so not not a bad ability. Uh, Chandler V, uh, not too good attacks, Confuse Ray, actually has the same attack. As Chandler, but a lot less damage. But still, it 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 it, it does some damage. So like, if you ever need to like, you know, attack this with this guy because of like you can't give up like three prizes or something, then that's definitely an option for sure. Uh, and then for some support Pokemon, we just got Crobats, Denenes, and Tapus. Uh, I tried running a version with Omastar. You know, it, it, it was paired with Gengar, Mimikyu, pretty good. Um, you know, of course, the item lock. There's a lot of decks in in this meta that you know, Volcarona, uh, Serena, that put a lot of bench Pokemon. The item lock would be pretty good against, but I just felt like it was way too clunky and way too hard to pull off. That it's just not even worth it. I think that's just going with the Chandler and then you know, using a lot of like support trainers is just better. Yeah, I mean, almost start. You know, if you got everything perfect, yeah, it could work, but. This is just a lot more reliable with, you know, just Denenes and because, yeah, you want to fill up your bench, you know, just get a ton of draw, get everything you need, which isn't too bad. So uh, we got a lot of trainers, 39, uh, Dowsing, just re recovering anything from the discard. A few blur, great catcher, you know, mostly for like tag team stuff like that. I uh, got a max potion, it could be useful, you know, um, if you ever need to just heal yourself, you know, Walder, the turn after or something like that. Or if you're just trying to stall with max potion, uh, you could put Ace Roll as well, or something like that. I didn't, I didn't really get much use out of it, so, but I, I just felt like it'd be good to have like some way of healing, in case your opponent hits hits into you for like a lot of damage. Um, yeah, you don't see this card every day. Peaking red card. So, what this what this does is your opponent reveal, reveals their hand. You may have your opponent count the cards in their hand, shuffle those cards in their deck, then draws. Oh, he's just like, yeah, so. I, when I first read this card, I had no idea what it meant, but basically um, you can look at your opponent's hand and then you can give them a new hand. Uh, so they basically shuffle the same amount of cards that they had in their hands. So they just get like, a, if they have six, you check their hand if, and you give them a new hand, they get another six. So it's basically like an N. Um, yeah, it's basically like an N, but... Um, you only affect your opponents and not yours and it's an item so like you could use this and then like i'll talk about the stain but you could look at at it you know at, at their new hand with the stain or something like that so it's definitely useful uh for sure i just i just played two of them uh but yeah we got some quick balls some ultra balls all that stuff surprise box pretty good put a card from your opponent's discard pile into their hand uh this this is helpful if you just like if you like look at their hand 
um and then you want to decide like if you need like one more trainer to knock him out or like two then you could like use these guys to finish off some knockouts like that uh yeah lavender town pretty important um you could just you know reveal their hand uh they, they can reveal your hand too but yeah you mostly just want to see their 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 hand of course to just work out the math and surprise box and like so you can use like multiple of these per turn um you know like after you end you know before you end or like after you end you probably want to use this because like after you end you could you know give them brand new six you could look at their look at their hand with peak and red card decide if you want it if you want them to keep it or not and then use it again and then after that you use stadium to check their hand again and then you know work out the math for any, any like surprise box that's kind of how this deck works out uh pretty strategic pretty strategic uh but yeah we, we're also playing four v seekers uh for so supporters uh we don't play a ton probably want to put in like a few more maybe uh but we do have one guzma just for any switching uh three ends three ends are really good in this deck for sure uh you know just i mean i think this is like the you know card that gives your opponent the most cards at the beginning of the game you just give them a solid six which i mean i mean the good chance they have like four trainers out of six cards so you're doing 280 damage off the bat if you just end them pretty pretty much uh, so really good and we, then we just got one juniper one right right hand because you know we do need two energy to attack and then we don't have like any energy acceleration so attaching is pretty much all we have except right hand and then welder uh, so we definitely want to go first so we can attack on our second turn uh but yeah right hand we can also so eight yeah discard pile energy from the discard pile and then you search for your deck for any card also water which can you know uh you know act an extra two energy per turn i haven't had much use out of water but it is pretty good if you get you know the right hand you can get a bunch more extra energy and then for tools we got two floats uh, just for basic retreating and then a stealthy hood in case you know we run into any anything like decisionwise or anything like that that kind of like walls off we just tell the hood then like you know like hit hit through them not too bad and then of course just 10 regular fire energy so that is going to wrap up the the introduction let's get on to the battles all right going the first game of the day definitely going to choose to go first uh really all i need is a chandelier and then a fire energy uh that's pretty much all i need first turn then to evolve next turn uh, another energy and then i can get a hit so pretty good hand i mean pretty much everything i need thing about expand is that i mean there's a chance you could get knocked out you know by your opponent if you go first so it's always a possibility man uh, but yeah that's really i mean i don't really need much else i'm probably gonna have to like tapu and next turn i could get another chandler down i mean he's playing mr mime so the thing I mean, he's probably playing Dragonite, and then Dragonite can KO so KO you, so I should probably play it safe. And then yeah, power up my bench. I, mean, I I don't want to do that, man. But like, you gotta be careful, dude. Because if you just kill my active, like to attack the falling turn, I need like a weld or a right hand. Wait, did I have right hand? I I actually did, but uh, yeah, don't really want to deal with it. I mean, like, yes, yeah, so he's got a Dragonite. <laughs> it looks like he's gonna one at me, so yeah, I was right, dude. I imagine if he goose with me, man. But yeah, so many ADP decks are playing Max Lixer now. Um, which, I mean, yeah, I can go for an easy hit. I mean, they're gonna have ADP. ADP is not the hugest deal. Uh, I mean, I, I'd definitely rather him try to, like, ADP, because, I mean, that's, that's a pretty easy knockout for me. I just need them to have, like, four trainers. And yeah, I could, you know one hit adp but i'd still have to two i'd still have to kill two other pokemon so decide not to end say so I, I mean he could be going for a guzman play possibly he still didn't commit to an energy so yeah it looks like he's just gonna i mean he could either adp or kill me um i wonder i, I wouldn't really mind if he killed me I, I don't know i mean it's less prizes for him though so less he's put two adps down are you on crack dude what <laughs> why okay uh i mean he's probably still gonna just dragonite but if he if he i mean it'd be it'd be better if he probably just gx honestly if he killed me it wouldn't be bad either so i mean i just need to get like a ko next turn 
that's the number one thing. But yeah, I'm probably gonna have to end. I mean, because that's gonna be in his hand. That's good. But he probably won't be holding on to a lot of trainers. All right, so he will just go for the knockout. So yeah, just like that, man. This guy's done. Okay. Yeah. I mean, probably just gonna end. So this guy, uh, I still need. Wait, I still need four. Yeah, that's not great. Um, I mean, I could check. He he got some prizes, so I'll check his hand. Yeah, need four. That's three. I, okay, so that that's good. I'm gonna probably just let him keep that hand, and then what I need now is. I guess I could ride him though. Wait, no, no, no I couldn't because I don't have energy in the discard. Yeah, I'm going to Nene, so I just need like one of those. Um, I always forget the name of this card. Okay, I'm, I may have to end actually, which isn't that good. Put that guy down. So we get from that. Okay, yeah. Gonna have to end. Uh, actually, yeah, because like, yeah, Rahim wouldn't work, right? I think I need an energy in the discard for, for it to work. Uh, I mean... I could quick ball Juniper. That's always you know what? yeah I, I might just do that. Put a lot of junk on my bench, but yeah. I mean, let's see if I have a Juniper first. I think I play one. I do. Done a lot of ends, but I, I've got some use here. So like, all I need is is one surprise box, and that'd do it. I like if I end again, it'd, it'd be less of a chance he'd get it. So yeah, I, I really just want to do that. And then I guess I'll put a float on, on this dude. He can't one hit a V Max, which is good. So I, I mean, like, yeah, I definitely want to. Yeah, I mean, he, he doesn't ADP yet. So I mean, like, Guzmi Guzmi might not be an option for him. So I'm just going to Juniper. I need one of the surprise boxes, though. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, I needed a Evolution as well. Okay. So I thinned out pretty, pretty good. Uh, what should I give him? Probably just a V Seeker. Maybe an N. Yeah, I'll probably just give him. I want to give him a card that he can't like dispose easily. So if I give if I give him a Guzma Hail, he'd get rid of like two other trainers. So supports are the best option because you can only they can only use one. You know. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll just get rid of both of these. I probably yeah I won't won't be needing that. Don't yeah I'll just keep this hand right. This is a pretty good hand. Pretty good hand. If he kills someone, then I, I could ride him. I mean, maybe. But yeah, I will get this kill. It's not too bad. Still have to get two more knockouts. But like, yeah, I should be able to get two more knockouts before he can get two more knockouts. So that's good. Like, what does he even do? With, does he GX now? I mean, that 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 put him behind even more. He hasn't used a Coco yet. He could go for another Dragonite, but he wouldn't be one hitting a Chandler. So he'd, he'd either have to... I mean, he, he, he had to go for two of my bench Pokemon, which, I mean, he could do. Yeah, he, he, yeah he'll just give me the win. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, you maybe he should have tried GXing. I mean, nah, nah, he should have. He probably did the right thing by killing my Shandler, but, I mean, good call by, by me for, like, you know, uh, putting the energy on the bench just to make it hard for him. Like, if he did if he did that with, uh, if he GXed instead, I mean, like, I probably would have easily killed him. Kill the ADP, so yeah, I mean, killing the dragon, I just put him really far behind. All right, going into another game. So we could have a water matchup, which isn't great. So the Crobat, not good either. Um, do I want to start at the top of though? I mean, this is a really bad hand. I may have to use this Crobat because this is a really bad hand. I don't like anything I need so far. Could be some cards, which is good. See, so, yeah, Tapu is down. What we're playing against Greninja v Union. Okay, yeah, weakness isn't great. I mean, yeah, I'd have to one hit that guy for sure. All right, okay, well, okay. I mean, a little bit better hand. Stealthy Hood. Would that be good? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'll just get one Chandler call it a day. I don't really need anything else. Yeah, I don't need anything else. I may need a fly. I mean, he's not gonna kill me. Anytime soon, probably. I mean, he's probably playing Melanie's Aqua Patches, all that stuff. So, yeah, I, ju I just gotta go. I just gotta get some attacks in quick for sure. 
I feel like I'm gonna have to use like a Walder or Ryan just to like sorry I mean he's gonna be one hitting me sometime he might just put stack up the energy on the bench might just do that but yeah the Vien's got like 300 health so I, I need to like have five trainers in this end he's got compressors I don't like that man I mean he can he just compress a bunch of trainers eventually uh, but yeah, I guess, okay, so here he, here he has four men. He already has four. So is he going to discard like a bunch of trainers here? Or some energy, something like that. But yeah, so... What do you discard? Just... Do you discard a quick? No, you just discard three energy from that. All right. I mean, depending on how many aqua patches, he could like get an attack with this guy this turn. Um, but yeah, 130, okay, so yeah, this this is what could one-hit me, for sure. I mean, that that wouldn't be that much big of an issue. Unless I had, like, nah, that probably wouldn't be, yeah, he, he, he definitely used that attack. He's, he's thinning for something, man. I don't know, I don't know if he's trying to get south this turn or what, but he's thin, thinning for something. He's got ham, <laughs> he's got hammers, oh, I don't like that, dude. Oh, that is very bad. Hammers are very bad against this deck. I already have, you know, so much trouble getting so set up with energy anyways. He's going to split the energy. That's not ideal for him. Okay, what does he want? Has he used a supporter? I don't think he has. He's just thinning like a madman right now, man. Thinning like a madman, dude. Let's see, we'll sick him more. Surprised he didn't just put this guy and then aqua patch on him. Who knows? So you'd have to like float in. I mean, like hitting would really do nothing. But I mean, he's got a lot of energy. So like next turn, I'm done, man. I am screwed next turn. All right. Well, I guess both we can check out both of our hands. I'm gonna snipe me. Not like not like it matters, but. Yeah, like, I mean, whoever, I mean, like, I mean, Guzma on that guy wouldn't be too bad. But he just easily won him again. But, I mean, you know what, that, that actually wouldn't be too bad. It's a long shot, but, like, let's say, oh, wait, wait, I just need, do I still, yeah, I still need five. Let's let's say I Guzma kill this guy, and then next turn I, like, well, ah, that, that, that's, that's such a long shot. Uh, let's just see his hand, I think. Like, I kind of want to goose him, man. That could be hard, though. He's got four. Okay. He's got four belt. Did I just see a Bryce, man? What the heck? So he's got Antonio D Max. I've got a Guzma. I, I, like, he's going to get set up. If I kill this guy, he's going to get set up on this guy. It won't matter. I, I think I just got to go for the big dude over here. So I still need a few things. I still need a few things right here. I need uh, energy and then uh, one of those uh, boxes. Okay, well there's a box. Now I just need energy. I, I, did, I can Denene, Crobat, all that stuff. What should I give him? Probably some support. Yeah, I'll give him a Sycamore. I don't want to give him a Compressor or Stadium. Give him a Sycamore. V-Seeker doesn't really matter. All right, I just need one. I mean, I'm gonna need. Yeah, I'm gonna need another sh so chandelier and energy is what I need right here. Okay, I got it, Zanetta. Got it, Zanetta, man, for sure. Uh, kind of, kind of getting rid of a lot, honestly. Don't need any of that. Got it, Zanetta. How many energy do I have? I've got seven. All right, I got seven out of thirty-three. I should get it here. If I don't, that would be very, very bad. Okay, I do get it. Okay, this game ain't over. I don't have access to a right hand or water though, that's a thing. But this game's this game's still doable. Even with this weakness, it's still doable. I'll just get this one. I'll get a lot of prizes. But he's got an end, so he's probably he's probably gonna end me, yeah. Probably will end me. We had a random receiver. Yeah, I got that guy out of the way, but I still have to go through and tell him V Max. So I have still got a Denani left. There's a Walder, no energy though. So right hand might be my best bet. 
Oh yeah, it's in my discard, bro. Please don't end. <laughs> if he doesn't end, I'd actually be looking decent, maybe. Uh, but he's gonna end. Okay. I mean, I it's not a terrible end, but not great. Let's see what I get from this. Okay. Uh, so I'm probably gonna have to Chandler, Ultra Ball, Denene. That's not bad. Could have been a lot worse. I'm gonna need another another five, but like if I Walter or do any of that, then I can't end. So he's gonna have to do me a big favor by holding on to a lot of trainers in his hand for sure. But he's gonna put even more dudes in his deck, which isn't that good. Don't know why he didn't put it tonight, but okay. Still got 32 cards left. Yeah, yeah, he, he's he's totally thinning right here, thinning thinning right here. Another option is, uh, I mean, another option is not even evolving, just doing this. But I still have to get like a right hand going. Okay, this, this guy's just tr the man. This guy's just flexing at this point, dude. He's just flexing at this point. So, I mean, he'll get three prizes. That that he'll get three prizes. That would be helpful. But yeah, I'm gonna need a lot, a lot of things right to go here. I can't do that. I cannot do that. Use my Tapu, so I'm gonna have to deny, yeah. And then I have no other draw after that, so I need either like a Weld or a Raihan, plus like a probably like a few more surprise boxes. Let's see what I have in my deck. Medowsing, uh, Walder, Raihan. I got three V Seekers. If I got a Raihan, that'd be really good. All right, come on. Thirty cards left. Okay, okay. Uh, that's pretty good. So I just can't end. I cannot end right here. I got a right hand. I need five. Five is, a, is the magic number. I could right hand, I have an energy, so I could right hand get a surprise box. If I got like another surprise box, that I, that'd be really good. Okay, let's just see how much he has in his hand. I need, I need like, I need to see like four right here, honestly. <laughs> Oh, he, wait, I've already got it. I've already got it. He had four, five. Oh my God, this is going to be overkill. <laughs> no way, dude. Energy in this discard, right? All right, let's just get a right hand going. Wow. Oh my God. I'll do that. Might as well just flex with these surprise boxes, man. Like, I'm, I'm going to do way overkill. Another one? No, nah, it's the only one, but yeah, I've done it, man. Again, it's probably the worst match ever. I've, I've done it. Let's just do that. <laughs> Man, what a... Wow, that was insane. I can't believe I actually won that. I mean, I just beat a full, like, weakness deck. I mean, two hits is all I needed, dude. Two hits is, is all I need right there. Let's freaking go. All right, going to another game. Looks like we got another ADP matchup, which, um... Yeah, so... You pretty ADP is ADP is pretty much all you play next man, so it's good to showcase this matchup. But yeah, I got I got okay. I do have Chandler, but I'm probably gonna have to put another bench one. Honestly, uh, I mean the 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 last dude um, set up a Dragonite, um, but we'll see if he puts down an eight or if he goes for an ADP play. We'll see, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for. I don't need an Ultra Ball. I'll do that, get a Chandler, and then I'll put the energy on the bench, but if he doesn't kill me, I will have to hunt for a float. So I gotta keep that in mind, but it's a good hand. Get to Nene, I got a Chandler, Trainer's Mill for something, but it's got a Dr Dragonite the active. So, I mean, he'd have to get another one. Alright, so he's signed up by ADP. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. I doubt he's gonna hit me. <laughs> Highly doubt he's gonna hit me. But, uh, yeah, heal GX. I mean, it, it'd probably be better if he hit me. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't even hit me, but... Or killed me, but... Yeah, I need to float another energy. Uh, he's probably just gonna be thinning. He's, he's, he's already thinned a ton, man. This guy's going ham. This guy's going ham. Alright, that's all, though. That's good. Um, Definitely evolve, for sure. Let's see what I get from this. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll just Ultra Ball another Chandler and then just an NA. I could have tap it for any supporter, but I still need to get, you know. Got an NA Crobat tap, that's good. Okay. I just need to get some balls, don't be fine. But I need a flow or like a Guzma, but nah, I, I, need to, I need to be killing this guy, so. Gonna have to get a float. Oh, I gotta use my sling energy, so yeah, none of that is good. I, I may just dowsing for a trainer's mode, honestly. Like, I, I gotta get set up this turn. Oh, wait, hold on. I shouldn't have done that. I need a thin. Yeah, I need a thin. Um, I guess I could put this guy down and crow, but I, like, I'm, I'm already giving up. You can just like Dragonite, Dragonite win the game, Guzma Guzma. Put another Crobat, but I kind of have to at this point. Yeah, I kind of have to. I've got no no supporters. So I think what I'm going to do is just do this and then put a Crobat down, Chandler. I've, the only thing left I have is a supporter. Okay, there's an energy. Yeah, let me see his hand. Let me see his hand. Two, three, four. So you're, yeah, he already has enough. I should look at that more closely. Uh, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm just throwing up my bench, man. Um, so I don't have a Juniper. I would have used that for sure. I need a float. That's the only thing I need. I need a float right here. I hit Dow's Machine for a Trainer's Mill. I'm not going to do that. I probably shouldn't. Let's just end. Hopefully, I get it. If I get it, I'd be I'd be in really good shape right here. I didn't get it. I need it from this mill, dude. I need it from this mill. I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> I swear, to God, I, I may need three floats in this in this deck because half the time I'm just hunting for one. That's good though. That is good. That is very good. I just have to worry about. I mean, I mean, this is good. I mean, like he hasn't set up with energy yet, but. It's really not hard for this deck. But at this point, like, he has to Guzma. And Guzma. Yeah, okay, so another another easy... Uh, I, wouldn't, I, I shouldn't say easy, dude. That, that was kind of close, getting the float. But another good one against ADP. Uh, yeah, this this is... It's a good matchup. Most of the time, I, f I feel like I win. Um, not bad. Stuff like Volcarona, Serena. Now those are not good matchups. But ADP, I can't beat. All right, going into the game, we'll be going first. Got a Shandler energy, not too bad. Looks like we're up against a Darkness matchup, which um, could be Hotchkrow, I guess. Dark box, maybe. Eternus would be pretty good, actually. Yeah, Vmax's tag teams have been have have been solid, you know, for this deck so far. But uh, minute in the game, already stalling. Love to see that man. Insane Pokemon strat. So he's playing Eternus, okay. Yeah, definitely not in danger of being one-hitted. But uh, I mean, hope he's not playing Hammers. But I mean, this is good. May not be able to get an end next turn, but I really don't need to do anything else. So I'll just let him do his thing. And I won't be one-hitting Eternus. He puts on the active, that's kind of ballsy. I mean, not really, but he just has to hit Power Accelerator. Make sure the bench Eternus gets an energy. But uh, he could be playing Sneasel, all those guys. Just have to see. Yeah, I've, I've been I've been uh, neglecting the fact throughout this whole video that my opponent can't play any tools. I keep like I I, I totally forgot in these, like the past three matches that like yeah they can't play any tools when I'm in the active. So that's pretty good, man. That that's pretty good. It's got nothing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's a pretty good chance I can one hit this guy. Don't need to do a whole ton right here. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll just Juniper, I guess. I mean, I kind of want to end, but. So he needs four. Yeah, he just 10 HP off. So actually, you know what? I'm probably just going to tap him. I'm probably just going to tap him. Say goodbye to those guys. Do I have a tap? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna end. Still, chance I still whiff it though. Uh, maybe I should discard the float. Actually, nah, nah, it's probably fine. 
Yeah, I'll just get an N right here. Could have done A as, as well, but... Yeah, I mean, I definitely need energy, so I may have to finally get that. Stadium would be helpful just to know that I do enough. Okay, well, I get my stadium, but I will have to thin right here. Alright, so I just need four. Oh, he's a black market, but I... Okay, so he has plenty. I mean, he has a pretty good hand, but... I'm definitely going to let him keep it. I could try crow batting. I mean, like, keeping this end would be pretty good. I mean, I could get... Nah, I think I'll just do this, yeah. I'll, I'll discard everything. I'll get another, another channeler. And then I'll just crow bat. But, uh, yeah, definitely looking for energy. I'm, I'm already, yeah, guaranteed the one hit. Okay, well, no crow bat, so this is my last draw. I should get energy from this, man. Okay. Caught it a bit close, dude. I will one hit, though. Black market. I still have two stains in my deck, so I should be fine. But yeah, hitting into black market is never good. So he didn't even get an energy off that Eternus. Oh no, dude. Oh no. <laughs> this guy is looking really bad. Uh, I don't I don't even think I saw it at Max, but he's got a research. He's gonna put stadium, you know, research to all that, but yeah, this guy's not looking the best, man. That is for sure. Definitely going first really helped me right here. But uh, for Eternus, I need him to have five in his hand. Just gonna, looks like he's just thinning a lot. What was that? Yeah, something else, I think. Okay, so there's slow bro poison, doesn't really matter. That's like no damage. Okay, so you, you just let him. He's got Dark Ride though. What's up, Dark Ride? My end. I would act no, actually. No, never mind. He just researched. Yeah, this guy could be an issue as well. I mean, like dead end GX, like instant one hit. That would that would not be good, man. That'd be pretty. That would be pretty bad, dude. Uh, but the good thing is that you can only use that once. It's got a hoopa. Okay. But uh, does he have a V max? He might. I mean, he could have a V max, but not trying to put him down. Because, I mean, there's a good chance I'll just get another easy one hit. That's a good hand. I mean, I can I can end, end him to, like, a whole... Like, he's probably going to thin out his hand. I'll get him a bunch of, you know, trainers. So, yeah, he'll just give him the win. So, yeah, yeah, he was he was looking pretty bad off that uh, first hand, man. Uh, I just had too much of a quick start uh, with, you know, easy knockout on Eternus. All right, going to another battle. We'll be going first for sure, dude. Get a Crobat, it's not great, but got another Quick Bowl, so I, I can get a Chandler. Uh, hopefully I get something off the smell. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of need something off the smell, though. Slugma, probably, okay, that was good. Well, we're pro probably playing, um, yeah, I, I'll get two Chandlers, I guess. So, yeah, we're probably playing Colossal, which, I mean, is a good matchup for me, for sure. Pretty good matchup for me. NEV Max, I like. So I get two Chandlers here. I'll, actually, he could be playing Path Speak. So I'm gonna Denene first. I'm gonna Denene first for sure. I mean, he only put a Slugma. It could be something else, but I mean, you, you gotta think of Colossal. Okay, I mean that could be a good hand. I need an end though next turn. Definitely gonna need an end. Need an end. Wasn't that bad though? Okay, yeah, <laughs> it's Colossal, dude. He's probably just gonna hide behind. Slugma though. The first turn. Because I have a Guzma. If I top deck an energy, that'd be cool. But I mean he's gonna thin out his hand for sure. Yeah, he's already doing it. Already thin th thinning out his hand. But I might assume he's just gonna stay active, then put like another slugma on the bench, probably. I think that's exactly what he's doing. Or or not, he's gonna get two colossals. Okay, so he's kind of preventing the Guzma now. So I don't think he's playing the Slugma that has three or three costs. Interesting. Okay, so he's got no trainers in his hand. None. So okay, I'm not gonna Guzman now, obviously. I'm not gonna Guzman. I need an N or something. I did I just really just get a welder? Really did I really just get a welder? 
Okay, I'm gonna hope he has one. I mean, if I, if he had at least one, that'd be good. I'm I'm just hoping he has at least one. I know he's a colossal. Hopefully, he has another one. Okay, that's good. I'll take that. That is very good. That that is very good. So he had a, he had a, yeah he has a research. Okay, I have three V seekers. What in the world? <laughs> what in the world, man? I'm in top deck mode though. I'm in top deck mode. I can still hit, but I'm in top deck mode, dude. Three V seekers plus a bunch of non drawing supporters. Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> oh man. I can't even like use him if I wanted to. I can retreat off anyone. Cause like he, he's gonna get rid of a lot of stuff. He's gonna pre V seeker, pre use him. Okay. Probably just hit like Denny or Crobat. But like I mean, it, he can't really target Denny and Crobat though. If I if I V Max uh, Chandler, he has no other like. Yeah, he didn't even get energy. Cool. I mean, I'll hit. I'll hit. You know? Whoa! That's a lot. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot, dude. Okay. Okay, I'll take that damage. Wait, did I see an ace roll, though? So I guess it won't really matter. Okay. Yeah, it won't really matter. Dude, can I just get out of topic, but that's what I really want. I mean, I'll still take it. Less energy on him, I guess. So he's just he should still have, like, four in his hand. So that's a supporter. He should still have like four trainers in his hand. Does a lot of damage right there. Okay, there we go. Dude, I gotta discard. Bro, what is this hand though, man? What is that hand? Three V Seekers discard. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna red card him. So I yeah, if he has four then I'm not gonna bother. Okay, he has four. So I could just surprise box and yeah. Get another guy set up. I mean he, he could kill me next turn. I'll just take the L though. Yeah, I'll just if he kills me, I'll just take the L. Actually, oh oh no no, he has to take yeah, he's not taking a prize, so he still needs like two more knockouts, which is good. So I'll just give him a another sycamore yeah and then i mean i could go actually no i have, I have no other drive i only have a tap though bro is this guy could this guy be playing paths of, or yeah could this guy be playing paths of peak man now if he if he played that that would not be good so i think i need to like pre tapu just in case he is i know i know some class decks play it so I, I, I gotta be very careful right here. Any wouldn't, wouldn't be that great, but... I mean, if he killed me, he'd still get three. You know, I, I probably just gotta research. Juniper. Do I have a lot of it? Oh, wait, I, wait, I can st wait, what the? I can still use a freaking supporter. I didn't even know that. <laughs> oh, that's a good hand for next turn. Okay. I didn't even know that, dude. Okay. Uh, Yeah, let's just get this guy real quick. Damn. So I just need one more knockout, but yeah, like I've got three, four V Seekers in the Discord. I'm still got a Dowsing. Um, I should have like Ends Prize. I think I only saw one end of my deck, so I mean, are two Ends Prize? I have no idea. All right, so he's probably gonna end me. That's what I'd imagine. Does he even have an end? He does not. It's gonna ace roll. Not that useful. So okay, I should keep track. So I, he had five. He has four now, I think. No, he still has five. Yeah, he still has five. He's got f okay, probably four. I'm gonna say like at least. So at least four right now. I mean, I can check next turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. She's gonna give me the win. Okay, cool. Good man, dude. That that first knockout on Slugma was huge. That first knockout was was pretty huge, I think. I can't even see his deck, but yeah, I mean that was a good matchup. V Max, pretty good. Uh, one hitting is, is really good, man. 
not too bad all right guys that's gonna wrap up all the battles for this video overall uh not too bad ben um there are a lot of bad matches for sure like i mean like top tier decks right now a lot of drag knights a lot of volcanoes uh serenas as well adps i can win against volcanoes uh, and serenas probably not uh, but yeah, any any deck where they play like VMAX, where you can get three prizes, man, from killing a Pokemon is really good. I mean, like, you can do a lot of damage to this deck easily. Enough. I mean, I shouldn't say easily, but you can do it. You can do enough damage to one hit, you know, any VMAX. You just need five in their hand versus, like, if you're playing Gengar Mimikyu, you need seven. So, I mean, like, the yeah, the extra damage on this guy compared to Gengar Mimikyu is pretty nice. Also, the ability not too bad either. But yeah, that's going to wrap up uh, all the battles for this video. So if you guys did enjoy watching, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel. That's it, guys. All right, peace out.